Hi there, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? Can I get a grande decaf iced Americano? Absolutely. And can I get light ice and the pumpkin cold foam on top? Sure. Do you want the pumpkin topping? Or just the foam? You know, like the little sprinkles, like the pumpkin spice topping. Yeah, I'll take the sprinkles too. You don't want to miss the sprinkles. Exactly. Right? <laughs> All right, and what's your name? Gabby. Amazing. Oh, have a good day. Thank you so much. Okay, where am I going? This seems like the wrong direction. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna have a little fall day together. It is super sunny and beautiful outside, but the air is crisp. And it actually feels really nice. I was going to try getting a hot drink with the cold foam, but I'm kind of sweating right now. I'm here at Walmart. I'm looking for some like Halloween, either pajamas or like sweats. And I feel like Walmart always has really good ones for Christmas and Halloween. So we're gonna check it out. I literally made an itinerary for my day because I was overwhelmed. And <laughs> it's like, it's not short. Can you? I've been to HomeSense, Marshalls, did some damage there. My trunk has a lot of things in it. So I'll show you when we get back. I don't know if everything's already picked over, like people have already bought a lot of stuff and the stores don't have that much left or if they just don't have a lot of stock out yet because it's still September or if they just don't have a lot of stock of Halloween stuff, period. They literally already have Christmas stuff out at both Marshalls and HomeSense. So I'm thinking people just like to decorate for Christmas more than they do for Halloween. Maybe it's more of a niche, but it's so fun. I bought so many skulls. They had nothing at Walmart, nothing. But I got this fuzzy sweater. It's so soft, I got a size large. They had no, nothing Halloween. Nothing Halloween related at all. I don't know if I just wasn't looking in the right sections. Maybe I needed to go to like the toy section or something. But I swear when you walk into Walmart, usually they have it like right there. I just kidnapped a bunch of my old books from my parents' house. It's really only two series here. There's like all the Harry Potter books. And then I also grabbed all of these books, the House of Night series. I got Halloween candy. This is the first year that I'm actually gonna be handing out candy, like by myself, not at my parents' house. Cause we've been in an apartment every year before that and the neighborhood we're in right now has so many kids. From the grocery store, I just grabbed some more pumpkin. I got, these Reese's, they're ghosts, pumpkins, and bats. I wanted to get more of those cookies, the celebration cookies that I've been having, so I've been eating them literally every single day, and they don't have them anymore. At least I can't find them. And then this is the candy that I'm gonna be putting, I bought like a little spiderweb bowl kind of thing today, so I wanted to get the candy that I'm handing out to the kitties. And this is what I got. So I got a combination of chocolate and candy. So I got, got jolly, there's Jolly Ranchers in here, peanut butter cups, O. Henry, Reese's Pieces, and Whoppers. As a kid, this is what I would want. My entire trunk is full. 
Okay, I promise I'm gonna show you everything I got, but I'm starving. So I need, I'm making, I'm just warming up some leftovers. I'm just making like a little chicken and rice bowl. Okay, listen, for this baking situation, at first I was like, I'm gonna go all out. Like I'm gonna make pumpkin cinnamon rolls. Pumpkin cinnamon rolls. <laughs> and they're gonna be amazing and delicious and like so fun. I've never made cinnamon rolls before. And no wonder, because I don't have a mixer and every single recipe is like, leave your mixer on for eight minutes. I'm like, I'm not about to hand mix something for eight minutes. So in typical Gabby fashion, I instead found the easiest recipe possible and that's what I'm gonna to do today. I'm not, I wish I was a baking girly like so badly. I wish I was creative with meals. I wish I was creative with baking. I'm not a baking girly. It's just not, I don't, I'm impatient and I'd rather just eat something versus make it. I'm gonna make pumpkin bars. I basically picked this recipe because I already had most of the ingredients. Yeah, that's hot. Mm -hmm. That is hot. And I'm starving. So hungry. Don't judge me by the amount of soy sauce I use. Cause I know it's a lot. And I am mixing um, Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce and soy sauce together on this chicken and rice bowl. Not sorry about it. I would put them on a plate and like do it separate, but I'm the type of person who mixes all my food together anyways. People who like separate their food on their plate, I don't understand you. You are losing out on an experience of flavors by taking a bite from everything on your plate at once and eating it. That is how I prefer to eat. No, he's literally so hot. This is Jack Skellington, everyone, just so you know. Daddy. But honestly, whoa. People's voices do make them more attractive. A great example of someone's voice who is just like, and makes them so much hotter is Timothy Chalamet. Is he hot? Is he not hot? I don't know. And then he talks? Yep. Smash. Did you know he speaks French also? Watching Dune, I could just listen to his voice all day. It's gorgeous. I have no explanation. Quando piano, já não quer. nothing Halloween related. Now I can show you this a little bit better out of the car. Then I went to Marshall's and I got this pumpkin. Yep, it's just like a little wood pumpkin. I got this from Marshall's. Uh, this is where I'm planning on putting the kids 
Halloween candy. I'm gonna like separate it and do like candy on top, chocolate on the bottom or something like that. And I like that it has this ring so that when the kitties come to the door, I can like, which one do you want? Oh yeah, you can take two. Embarrassing. And then I got, okay, this can be used year round. I feel like it fit the aesthetic of our house. Can you see the texture on this? It has like lines. And then the last thing that I got from Marshall's is this skull soap dispenser. Is this stupid or cool? And then I went to HomeSense. This is so cute. I am obsessed with this. So this is what I'm picturing going in the white vase. Can you, can you envision what I'm picturing here? And I got inspired to find like dried florals by this YouTube channel. Her name's Allison. I think her YouTube's literally just Allison. She had a ton of dried florals throughout her house for her, for her fall decor and I was very into it. I wanted something that looked pretty realistic because a lot of them had these, these leaves and the leaves looked really fake, but everything else looks very real and dried. I got this skull. It doesn't look cheap, it's actually heavy. A lot of the skulls are like plastic. I don't, I don't know what this is made of, probably still plastic, but just the way that it's painted, it's like, I don't know, this one just looked so cool and I like that it has a little neck and a stand. Please, please tell me he's cool. He looks, honestly, I love him, I don't care. I like how it's like kind of copper, like it's, um, it's rustic, like a little rustic skull. <laughs> Anyways, so we'll just put him over here with my other, honestly, he's so cool. It, the quality looks amazing. Okay, I love him. Okay, I told myself that I wasn't gonna get any sort of towels, like no bathroom towels, no dish towels, because they're never good quality and they're always pretty cheesy. But then I saw these and I just couldn't resist. I love these because they're, there's no orange on them. Look at them. These little pumpkins in a tree and a spider. They're so cute. And those little ghost. Where is he? There he is. And little bats. It's like the perfect spooky towels. <sighs> I told myself I wasn't gonna get towels and I got towels. I honestly like don't even remember what I got. Oh, this is cute. Okay, I got this jar. Like this will look cool in our kitchen. I don't know who I'm trying to convince. Last thing from Home Sense. I love this. I really do love this. This is sick. This is the sickest candle I have ever seen. And it actually smells so good. It's whiskey pecan pie. It's so heavy. I really went with a skeleton skull vibey today. It's very me. And it has a wooden wick, which is so fun. Oh, it smells so good. So baked pie crust and sugar with whiskey, pecans, and vanilla. There was a lot of candles there and most of them smelled very bad. So I lucked out, but this one looked the coolest and smells the best. Oh, my collection of skeletons back there, jeez. <laughs> Speaking of skeletons, I went to Halloween Alley and I bought skeletons. No, I love these. Okay, this is the first little guy. Oh my God, you can't tell me this is not so cute. So you can like bend him. So I wanna like sit him somewhere. There was life-size ones. I took clips. I wanted one so bad. There was a seven foot skeleton. It was like this big. It was $200, maybe one day. And they're just like bendy. Like you can bend them in any way that you want to. <laughs> I love these! I think Amazon has these little skeletons too, but I didn't trust the quality, like I wanted to look at them. So I'm glad that Halloween Alley had them and then I could pick like the one I wanted. Like this guy has a little crooked jaw. 
I picked him on purpose because his jaw is crooked. Look at him. A little crooked face. Yep, so that's my skeletons. And then I went to Michael's. And honestly, Michael's had a lot of stuff. I don't really have much to say about this. I just saw it and thought it was cool. I don't know, it's like this like feathery black thing. I don't know. I'll put it in like a jar somewhere, okay? Leave me alone. It'll be cool. Okay, I want to do kind of like an apothecary vibe in the kitchen. So I got these two jars. I'm either gonna put candy or I bought these like tiny little glow-in-the-dark bones. They're like glass, like they're actually pretty cool, but they had them at Michael's. Michael's has a lot of like do-it-yourself, like you could make this into something cool. Michael's is actually very cool. Um, and they had a lot of this kind of like apothecary vibe stuff. They had a ton of like potion bottles and that really cool stuff, which I loved. So I got this little beaker almost, which I feel like is an apothecary potion master moment. This is so cool. This, is, this says spider po poison on it. It's so cool. I know it's green, but I feel like I can still make it work because it's a very, very dark green. I don't even know. I just fell in love with this. Probably because there's a skull in it. Why do I love like skulls and skeletons? Why? I thought this was sick. I felt like this would go with the apothecary vibe. The mechanics of surgery. And then there's like a skull on it and it's this really, really cool, like almost like wicker texture. I tried to get things that didn't look cheap. You know, like a lot of Halloween stuff, when you look at it, you're like, mm -hmm. that looks like plastic and cheap. These are the little bones, like they're glass. So I feel like these would look cool in a jar. I didn't even notice they were glow in the dark till after, which whatever, but cool. I'm very sorry that I did not have time to finish. I mean, for you guys, it doesn't matter because you're seeing this clip right after the other clips, but I could not finish filming my little haul wrap up this vlog situation on Friday because my boyfriend got home from work and he had like a rough day, rough week. I didn't want to be like, okay, I'm just going to be filming, bye, you know? So I wanted to give him my undivided attention for the evening and the weekend. Everything's fine, by the way. Very fine. Um, but I want to show you guys the rest of the stuff I got and I want to wrap up this vlog because today I actually want to decorate the entire house. So we're going to be starting a new vlog today too, but I have to finish this one because I haven't showed you guys all the stuff I bought. The last things are from Amazon and the dollar store. Okay, I got this table runner with spider webs, two packs of spider webs. I saw these little lights. They were only $2 and it's just a string of dot LED lights. Now they are orange. I just saw these in the aisle and I was like, oh, maybe I could put these somewhere. They could be cool. This is what I actually went to the dollar store looking for. Decorative gauze cloth. It's also called like spooky cloth or spooky fabric. Basically just this black gauze. And I feel like this just can add so much. So I got two of those. And that is everything that I got from the dollar store. Okay, from Amazon. I'm really nasty today. Anyways, from Amazon, I actually couldn't really find any decor that I liked. I don't know, it's probably because it's amazon.ca. I feel like amazon.com, like the US version, has better 
selection on Amazon, but us Canadians have slim pickings on there. So I didn't get any decor, I only got two books. The first one, I know this is not gonna be a shock. I don't even know really why, I just love it. Just looking at it makes me happy and that's why I got it. So this is The Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> Look at it! Like I'm picturing, like I could like read this to you guys. I could like read this to my kids, I don't know. Written and illustrated by Tim Burton. It's just, it's so cute. It's a little hard cover. Look at the art! Are you kidding me? This is adorable, look at him. This is the 20th anniversary edition. I want to frame this. This is gorgeous. Nightmare has always meant a lot to me. To revisit it after 20 years and adding a few additional illustrations has been a special experience. I hope you enjoy the new edition. God, it's so cute. Oh, look at the art. The art is so beautiful in here. Anyways, so let me know if you genuinely would like a reading video because I will sit here and read this entire book to you because I feel like it could be so cute and so weird, but so cute. And then this other book, okay, I found this girl, Darling Desi. Desi Darling? Dar I think Darling Desi on YouTube. She is the cutest human. She had this in one of her videos. And when I tell you, I ordered it on Amazon before she was even done talking about it. Like I literally was on Amazon the second I saw this because I have been wanting to buy some adult coloring books for my boyfriend and I. So on the weekends, we're not just like melting our brain watching TV, but we are doing something artistic. Anyways, so she had this, Season of the Witch, Coloring Book of Shadows. I like this one because it's not just a coloring book. Like there's actually information and stories and everything in it. Ancient lore, modern witchcraft, and the magic of the unknown. You can read, but then you can color all on the side. You can doodle on this side. I don't know. I just thought it was very interesting and very fun and spooky. And I feel like this time of year is when I would be coloring more. I will link this below. It'll be on my Amazon storefront so you guys can grab it whenever you want. Same with the other book. I think that is gonna be it for this video now that I've showed you all of the things back here. My next video, which I will be starting very soon after this one, will be me decorating the entire house. And I am so excited for this. I have been waiting all of September for this. It is finally time to decorate. I will see you there. Thank mm -hmm. you.